the heart of Tel Aviv, Hallie Cohn gets down to business. Working at the America House, she wastes no time starting her day. What keeps Hallie so busy? Let's get a closer look. We're sitting in Beit America, the America House, which is where um, my law firm is that I'm working at. It's called Afik Turjaman. The best way to describe it is a corporate law firm, but they do lots of different work, a lot of international work. This is where I get my daily dose of caffeine. In small corporations, you have minority shareholders and minority and majority shareholders. The majority shareholders are trying to get rid of these minority shareholders. It's not always right, obviously, because in small corporations, why do you want to get rid of one of the people that helped found it? So I'm doing a lot of research to become familiar with this legal issue and then get more specific in what um, he's looking to do to remedy these situations. I think it's the best. So is your ear. <laughs> She's so serious. She can wait like for 12 hours straight. After I got to meet everyone, I got to know everyone, and they got to know me, um, they're comfortable just telling me in English what their cases are about so I could learn a lot. I've been feeling a lot more part of the office and I really love it. This is Shalom. I like to say Shalom to Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> Which just has been really great. We have off on Tuesdays and we go um, on different trips around Israel and that has been one of my favorite aspects of being here and being part of the Bridges. And I've learned more in these past two, a little over two months now than I could have ever imagined. Par par. Par par. Par par. I thought you were like a poof. Well, that's not a good thing. <laughs> it's it's a really wonderful thing that all these Jewish people can come together for such great Halloween. Woohoo! Keep up the tradition. I wanted to carve a pumpkin, but I couldn't find any, so I used the red pepper instead. Take the picture. I'll just do it. <laughs> I'm a model. No model. Extraordinaire. Do I know what product I'm ever at? No. Do I know I'm singing in a box? Maybe. Do I care? No. You know, do I uh, favorite artist? It's gotta be Run DMC over here. But you know what? These are my friends. We move until we roll. And we're cool. I'm cool with wearing a trash bag right now. That's all I know. I know I'm awesome. That's all you gotta say. I've all my life I've been waiting for I've been praying for For the people to say One day, one day, one day oh. Why does the monkey have a chiseled ass? <laughs> because he wants to work it out. In another heart of the city, the prestigious Tel Aviv University finds the mysterious Melanie Weininger. The halls of the university hold many secrets, some even in Melanie's own office. Huh, someone left a spoon. Um, a spoon. I'm from LA originally, born and raised. I studied psychology. I had originally planned to be a therapist, but then director's office, which is now locked. I can open it, but I don't know if I should because she's not here. I work for the uh, International Conflict Resolution and Mediation Master's Program. Students from all over the world can come and study. It's really just making sure everything runs smoothly. It's a brand new program, so something's always coming up and we're all new at this and we're kind of trying to leap through the bureaucratic system of the university. There's never a dull moment, basically. If I could even find out what's in here. I didn't know anyone coming here and I think everyone's amazing. Um, I think we have a really good group. I really enjoy living in Tel Aviv. I think it's a really exciting city. I like that we're immersed. There's a lot the city has to offer. It's a pair. Okay, it's not my pair, but maybe I should keep it. It's just, there's so many cultural differences. I ha actually have started a list. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of nice that you have a common background. You feel a certain sense of camaraderie. 
Born in Boston, raised by paramedics, Matt Friedman has the perfect life. Matt's job at Save a Child's Heart commands respect. Oh, hey Ian, what's going on, buddy? Wait, <laughs> Ian. Let's take a further look into the mind of Matt. Save a Child's Heart is an organization that takes in uh, children from all over the world. They all have congenital heart defects they were not able to fix back home. So Israel uh, will take them here and perform the necessary services. It's all uh, supported by pri private benefactors that um, donate their money and their time. So I'm usually at the hospital and I help uh, expedite the process for the children, getting to the different departments, helping with my procedures uh, at the hospital. I'm rarely at the house, but sometimes I do come just to see the kids and hang out with them. The kids here really love me. Without uh, the surgery, they probably won't last um, throughout their whole normal lives. So it's a pretty uh, amazing organization that goes on here. And right now, I'm just kind of enjoying the Israel life, learning some Hebrew. What kuna matata? Ken. We just have really enjoyed the different trips we've experienced all around the country, going to Jerusalem or the north. The falafels here are a hundred times better. Hummus here, much better. Um, I think it'd prob probably be a reason alone to come to Israel just to experience the falafel, shawarma, and other such food items. Hatzel, Lipo, Shel, Yalid. I've learned in Opan a lot, as it says, save a child's heart. People are pretty nice, pretty open, and uh, pretty enjoyable to talk to. Go Red Sox.